Hi everyone, it's Emily from Camera Paper Scissors here and today I've got a craft room tour to share with you. We've lived here for t just over two years now and I did a tour maybe a month after we moved in and I was crafting upstairs in the living room. Our house is kind of upside down. So the desk I used to use was only about a foot deep. I really didn't like using it because it was just too small. So I just used to craft on the sofa upstairs and everything, all my supplies used to be in the uh, Rascog. But then we decided that we really want to make use of this this room. We went to Ikea and we each got one of these desks with um, a Kallax attached to it. Myself and my partner share this office space. I keep all my thickers here as well as my heat proof mat which is stuck to everything <laughs> my heat gun, my glue gun in here I just keep all the supplies I've got recently so this is a lot of Amy Tan um, Pink Paisley I've not bought that much this year because I've not scrapped that much because I've not been anywhere um, but I did buy a lot of um, Amy Tan and the Crepe Paper Fresh Bouquet Collection. Okay, let's drop down a level. So on this shelf here, I have sort of sequins. Um, this has um, adhesive enamel dots in it. And this has sequins and um, Dovecraft 3D Pearl Effects. I keep all my 6x6 six six papers in here. I keep all my die cut ephemera. So I kind of arrange it by brand. So I have one for crepe paper, one for one canoe two, one for pink paisley. And then I have, if I'm doing a little project, so right now I'm doing a childhood album. So I've kind of picked things out of my stash that go together. So this is just a, a collection of all sorts, really keep all my stamps here and this is actually where I this is this is a bit of all sorts my adhesives are in the back then I've got some pens and things that I don't use as much um, glitter embossing powder and roller stamps and then my ribbons and things are in here so I've got kind of twine embroidery thread here and then ribbons and things that I maybe don't use as much in there. So I've got all the kind of notebooks, 8x8 paper pads, stencils, um, thickers that I don't use as much or that are sort of half used and then my 12x12 paper pads. On the top I've got my mini albums which I need a bigger box for because they're kind of piled on top of each other at the moment. My December daily from 20... 18 I'm gonna say. I buy into 34 layouts and cards that I've made. This is from Ikea and this is where my 12x12 papers go. So they're arranged by colours of kind of red, yellow, blue, purple, something like that. Um, this is where I kind of put things that are in progress or I don't know if I need sorting out really. <laughs> uh, this is, so I have four folders for my photos. So I've got a recent um, two from my childhood album and one that's kind of if I've misprints or I've printed it twice or or I've just not ended up scrapping it for whatever reason it goes in there and then if, I, if I've got a design team layout to make or if I'm doing an art gym I'll page I'll just go through there and pick something out. Then I've got some watercolours and then I keep my stickers there as well as my cutting mat. So this is, this kind of, this is also from Ikea, everything's from Ikea. This kind of fit, this fits underneath the shelf so it's suspended. So this is where I keep sort of scraps and things like white card offcuts and I can just stamp on them. Um, tissue paper for backing things. And then my washi tapes live in here. I have just switched all this round so my washi tapes used to be somewhere else. And I'm not sure I'm happy with how I've sorted it out, I'll show you in a minute. 
So that's my washi tapes. Um, I always keep kitchen paper with me because I tend to get messy. Uh, I don't like mess. <laughs> and then if I move this, I keep the 12 by 12 paper pads that I use the most. So at the moment it's Honey and Spice by Eddie Swap and First Edition Bloom and Wonder. Then here, I don't want to be in the shot. In here, I keep my punches and my coloured. Yeah, I might need to rearrange that. So I sometimes just take that off if I want to get in those drawers. But coloured paper, white card, and black card. This is um, a pegboard from IKEA. <laughs> Should be sponsored. Um, <laughs> so I just keep my um, cricket maps. Um, what are these called? Embellishment mousses. Um, and these little pots have stamp pads, um, craft knives, little pegs and clips and things. And then right at the bottom here, have the washi tapes I use most of the time. And just various bits and pieces. I've got a thing of sequins there, I've got some post notes. My cricket lives on the windowsill. It did live here. But I was finding that it was taking up too much room and if I wasn't using it, it was kind of in the way, so it lives there unless I need it now. Okay, so this is a bit you don't see because it's a mess. <laughs> I keep all the pizza boxes that my orders come in and so there's a box for each thing, so um, this side is uh, mostly mixed media things, so I've got Magazines, magazine clippings, um, tissue papers, die cuts, and then on this side, I've got this is what I need to rethink. I did have these are more my die cuts that either aren't branded or I'm not really into them. If they maybe say something like, "Oh, this is this is magic," or that's not kind of thing I like. So <laughs> I kind of put them all in here, but they were, they were arranged by colour. And now they're just all in one thing. And I'm not sure I like that because it's kind of overflowing a little bit. Uh, so I don't know about that. This is my childhood album. Sneak peek of something I've designed just there. <laughs> yeah, this is the album I'm using for my childhood album. Well, this is my teenhood favourite things I liked and but I'm not yeah <laughs> I will do this after I've filmed this video. Then I keep my page protectors, uh mini albums that I've not used, Christmas things, um twelve by twelve paper that I'm not that keen on. So I don't need to sort that out as well. On the right I've kind of got my some old scrapbooks. The, the magazines I've been featured in um, and in this white box is kind of scraps and coloured paper and things that are, if I need a little scrap or something I go in there. It's really good for um, art journaling that one. And then right at the bottom I've got my current scrapbook which is on the left. Um, my parents photos before I existed. One is, the other two are my childhood albums so one's sort of from when I was born to maybe when I was 13 and then Another one from that to when I started scrapbooking properly, which was maybe when I was 20 that I started scrapbooking 12 by 12. So I think, I think that's it for my craft room tour. It's only a small space, but I think I've made best use of it that I can. So I'll see you in the next video for some... Well, I'd like to try and make some scrapbooking process videos. Stay tuned for those in the new year. I'd like to wish you a very happy new year. And let's hope that 2021 is a lot better than 2020 was. Right, thank you so much for watching. Bye!